Rudy Hernandez, man, let's catch up real quick. Let, let, let's talk about Lomachenko Reagan, though. What do you think? What you think of the <laughs> the result? What's your assessment of that fight after that? I think when the guy gets is defeated mentally, I mean that's it. It's over. Yeah. I mean he he didn't think he stood a chance anymore, and and he just decided to quit. Yeah. How does that affect maybe his legacy? I've heard a few people say that's going to tarnish his legacy, but I mean he did move up two divisions. He was fighting the bigger guy. Oh. Should it be that? Should it be that? That important? That night should be should it be that important to his career? Look, uh, being able to be to be great, you have to challenge, yeah. right? So um, he moved up a couple of divisions, but uh, he, he took the fight. He decided yeah. to fight at 130, and and regardless of the outcome, I mean, you know, it's like he quit. And I think that yeah. he'll always be remembered for it, unless unless something else comes up where he just erases it. Okay, now we put ourselves in Robert Duran's shoes. He was kind of in the similar situation, but he was able he was able to still move on from it and accomplish great things. Yeah. People kind of they don't really remember that. I mean, they remember, know, but they don't they don't really. Durant is, will always be known for 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 being the greatest lightweight mm -hmm. of all time, for the guy that said no mas, and uh, the guy who just who stepped up and moved up and and did great at the end of his career and, and won several world championships after that. He uh, he redeemed himself. How does Rigo redeem himself now? He's in the same situation. How does he redeem himself? I, I see it. I see it very. I see it very, very difficult for that to happen. Yeah. Because first of all, before the Lomachenko fight, people didn't want to watch him. Yeah. After the Lomachenko fight, I doubt that any promoters, anybody out there, really wants to watch a fight. Because yeah. um, I think, I think the best rigging though you can watch is go to the gym and watch him fight. But when you come to a fight, it just it changes everything. There's yeah. gym fighters, and there, and then there's. Fight, guys that fight at fights, and um, and we're not we're not saying nothing about his ability to be what he does. He's a great he's a so, great fighter. So you go as far as to say he's, a, he's a, might, might might have been a, a glorified gym fighter here, a club fighter maybe. I mean, you, you don't win two gold medal Olympics and you don't become a world champion you know, without having to tell him and speak. Yeah. But bottom line is that is that if you see him, if you watch him train and knock guys out in the gym, okay, why aren't you doing that? Come fight time. Yeah. The Cubans have a, have have, a, have have this thing that you know beautiful boxing, beautiful boxing, yeah. and, and and you know we don't we don't need to you know we we don't need to be put in a position where we can get hurt, yeah. and that's not that mentality doesn't work. The last great fighter was Joao Casamayor, mm -hmm. who did not want to watch Casamayor fight. Everybody who saw him fight became a fan, and win or lose, he gave 110. He kind of broke that stigma of the Cuban fighter that like Rodrigo did. It doesn't yeah. matter if he's knocked down, and I'm still gonna. Try to overcome yeah. that adversary. Yeah. Kind of broke when, that stigma. When um when when you give opportunity, then then you pay the price. Look mm -hmm. at Lara. Lara mm -hmm. could have done a whole lot better against Canelo, but he chose not to.